Guys, it's going to be a little bit shaky because I don't have a stick. Machu Picchu, no selfie sticks, no tripods, no drones, no walking sticks, no uh, anything. Don't take anything. There are a lot of uh, prohibited items. I'll put them on screen here now. Don't take any of that up with you because they'll take it off you and you'll have to go and get it at the end or something, I don't know. And if you're sat there wondering why things like selfie sticks and tripods are banned up there, that's because death by selfie is the most common cause of death up there at Machu Picchu. So they've just said, no, nope, no more. It's about an hour and a half walk from Agros Calientes up to Machu Picchu. It can take anywhere up to two hours depending on how fast you are because it's all uphill. Tickets cost us 152 soles per person. So it's definitely a lot cheaper to get them here. It could be anywhere from 50 to 72 dollars online, depending on what route you want to do. If you missed our last video, I'll say it again. Circuit number two gives you the best route through the actual ruins. The others are kind of above and below it. Don't necessarily go through it a whole lot. Circuit four, gives you access to the other mountain where you could see the whole of Machu Picchu, like that iconic photograph with the mountain in the background. That's where you get that photograph, but I've already seen that. I want to actually walk through the ruins and learn about them. Unfortunately, at the moment, there are no guides up there. So I'm, we're having to turn to the internet and I'm just gonna have to sort of visualize it myself when we get up there. Obviously at the moment, we've got strikes on, no buses, no trains. No lifts up to Machu Picchu, no guides up at Machu Picchu. It's a pain in the ass, but it's all for a good cause, so I don't mind walking for that. And as you can see, we're both wearing our Peruvian outfits. Yay! Get some cool photos up there in our Peruvian outfits. It's a uh, yeah, this is gonna be fun. It's gonna be good. I love wearing this thing. It's good. It's good in the cold because it keeps you warmer. It's good in the sun because it's like a sunshade, but it's not too warm, and uh, and it looks sick. I love it. I did get ripped off for it, but this doesn't matter. All good. <laughs> Start the hike along the river, pretty easy. And then you cross the river and you've got to go all the way up the mountain. Luckily enough, we got nothing but blue skies. <laughs> uh, I did enjoy my trip. I'm having a great trip. All right, <laughs> let's walk. Bloody hell, this is sweaty, man. It's not an easy walk. If you're at all disabled, you might not be able to do this. This is a long walk. I don't know how many steps it is. I'm gonna look it up, but it's a long way and I'm sweating hard out and I'm not even in the sun. We made it. That was an absolute mission walk. That was long. How long did that take us now? That took an hour and 15 minutes. We did it in an hour, in an hour and 15 minutes. It's meant to take an hour and a half, so we blasted it, but we have just had four days of practice. Yeah, it's not an easy, uh, it's not an easy hike up those stairs, I'm gonna be honest. Oh, it's worth it though, look at this. We've only just got here. First views, and look at this view. It's crazy. The mountains look absolutely stunning. It's like breathtaking scenery. We're so lucky with the weather. Seriously, this time yesterday morning was pissing it down with rain. And we were gutted that we hadn't booked our ticket because we didn't think we'd be able to get one now. Oh, 
I'm excited for this. This is just such a shame there's no guides up here because that would really, uh, I really want to learn about the place and we just don't know anything about it. There's loads of birds up here and butterflies and all sorts of shit. All sorts of little animals. Oh. This might be a little bit close and personal this time because they're not allowed selfie sticks up here. You must bring your passport. Not a picture of it, your actual passport. Otherwise they will not let you in. They check your passport at the bottom, at the top, and when you get your ticket. So you need it for all three of those. And because of the strikes as well, we've pretty much got the whole place to ourselves, which is unheard of. This place gets over 10 million visitors per year. And to think that we've got pretty much the whole place to ourselves, it's pretty remarkable.